our army in Lodiba. When Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, he bowed down with his face toward the ground. David says, Mephibosheth, he replied, Yes, master, I am at your service. Uh, verse 7, uh, 2 Samuel 9, 7. David says to him, Don't be afraid, mm. because I will certainly show you kindness uh, uh, to you. Mm. For the sake of Jonathan, your father, mm. you will be my guest at the king's table. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. So the next example we see is Mephibosheth. Oh, Mephibosheth. God. Mephibosheth. Amen. Mephibosheth was the son of Jonathan. Amen. Mm. So what happened to Mephibosheth is that there was a war and, and the, the maid who was carrying him, they were running away. Then she accidentally did what? She accidentally mm. dropped, dropped him. And because she dropped him, he became lame. Mm. Then they went to live in this place called, called Lodeba. Amen. Mm. They went to live in this place called Lodeba. And he was there living under I don't know what circumstances mm. that were not even fit for a king or a child of a king or mm. of a heir of a king. But then John David says, is there anyone that I can show mercy? Mm. Now listen to this. The war caused Mephiso, Mephiboshef. Mephiboshef. Mephiboshef to be displaced. Amen. Hallelujah. So he was displaced from his original place. Mm. He was supposed to be a heir or he was supposed to be in the house of the king. But he was living in Lodeba. Mm, a place where nothing could grow. A place where nothing grows. A place where nothing happens. A place where nothing comes to fru to, to fruition. Mm. Amen. Mm. But he had the leadership within him. Mm. But listen to this. War displaced him. Amen. And Hallelujah. took him out of his original place. So, so God used David. So through David, he was restored mm. to his original place. Amen. Mm. He restored to his original place. Listen to this. Things you don't know about. He didn't even know about all this. Listen, things you don't know about, they'll cause, they'll, they'll, they'll walk back to you. Hallelujah. Amen. they walk back to you. When he came back into the house of the king, David said, no, get him here. Clothe him. Wash him. Sit him by my table. Let him eat from my blessed, best place and mm. cover his feet. That's a message for another time. But I just want to say to you that war caused him to be displaced from his original place for things that he didn't even know. Things that were not even his fault. So I want to pray for somebody today that may God restore you to mm. your original place. When, may God bring you back to the place where the enemy took you. Mm. Listen, the enemy caused him to be dropped and to be crippled and mm. to go and live in Lodeba. I don't even know why they didn't bring him back when, when, when David was king because David was David was friends with his dad, but he stayed in that place where nothing grows. No, where nothing grows, where he couldn't even do anything Hallelujah. because he was lame. May God restore you to your original place. I mm. don't know who has hurt you. I don't know who has dropped you. I don't know who has dropped you in their pursuit for whatever they wanted to do. Hallelujah. I don't mm. know who has forgotten about you, but I just want to pray to you today. I don't know what has caused to certain things to walk out of your life we, without your knowledge with you knowing whether mm. known or unknown but Hallelujah. I want to pray for you today that may God restore you to your original Hallelujah. place where you were meant to be may you begin to walk back Thank may you, you begin Jesus. to come back may God begin to cause people to remember you like he did with David mm. he says that is there anyone in the house of Saul that you know that I can show mercy to that I can show kindness to Hallelujah. that he said there is somebody but he is lame I don't know what lameness you have at this time of, at this point of time, but I pray for you today that may God restore you to your original place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another example we're going to look at is Second Kings, Second Kings chapter chapter uh, eight. Second Kings chapter eight. Hallelujah. 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 Second Kings chapter eight. Second Kings chapter number eight. Second Kings chapter eight. Mm. Hallelujah. You can read um, Second Kings chapter 8. You can read verse 1 and verse 6. But in your spare time, you can read from 1 to 6. 
Second uh, Kings chapter number eight, the mm. Bible says. Second Kings chapter eight, uh, verse one, the Bible says, Then spoke Elisha unto the woman whose son he had restored back to life, saying, Arise and go, and thine household, and leave whatsoever you can. Just change this version. Uh, Amen. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter number 8. Now Elisha advised the woman whose mm. son had been brought back to life. Mm. You and your family should go and live somewhere else for a while. For the Lord has decreed that there will be a famine that will overtake the land for seven years. So when the woman did as the prophet said, she and her family went and lived in the land of the Philistines for seven years. Uh, verse, verse 7? Six. Uh, verse 6. We will skip a few verses and go to verse 6. The king asked the Actually, woman... Sorry, can you start reading from verse 5? We'll read verse 5. 2 Kings 8, verse 5 and 6. While Gehazi, the servant of uh, the prophet, was telling the king how Elisha had brought the dead child back to life, the woman whose son he had brought back to life came to ask the king for her house and the farm or the field. Gehazi said, My master, O king, this is the very woman and this is her son whom the prophet Elisha brought back to life. Verse 6. The king asked the woman about it and she gave him the whole full details of the account. The king assigned a eunuch to, care, to take care of her request and ordered him, Give her back everything she owns, Hallelujah. as well as the amount of crops her field could have Hallelujah. produced Hallelujah. from the day she left the land Hallelujah. to today. Amen. 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 So we see here about the king restoring the Shunammite woman. Mm. He said this woman, there was going to be famine in the land and then Elijah told them to leave the land because mm. there was going to be a famine. He said the time of famine you need to hear God. Some mm. people God to tell you to stay. Some people God to tell you to move. But you know when you, when you leave your land, you lose mm. your land. Hallelujah. Then she turned up after seven years. After seven years she came back. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. And when she came back, the king was asking Gehaz to say, tell me the stories about it. Elisha. Then while he was talking about it, then this woman appeared at the right time. And then mm -hmm. he says, oh, this is the woman. Then what does the king do? The king says, appoint an officer, mm -hmm. amen, to give her back her land. Mm -hmm. Not only her land, but everything that the land had, re had, had produced. Mm -hmm. So it means every profit from the land in, mm -hmm. in the whole seven years, hallelujah. whatever profit came out of the land, oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. He says, give it back to her. Give it back to her. Mm -hmm. I want to pray for you today. Mm -hmm name of Jesus, that God will restore you, oh, amen, to your original speed of progress, amen, to your speed of progress, hallelujah, we see here that God, I pray that God shall appoint an officer on your behalf, mm. even this last six months that has passed, this last six months that has gone, may God restore to you, hallelujah, hallelujah. your original speed, amen, and amen, hallelujah, <clears throat> hallelujah, progress of speed, whether it's in business, or whether whatever, listen, you have not lost anything. Mm. There's nothing that you have lost. May God give you with increase. May God give you with profit. Hallelujah. He said that give that back. Not only her land, but everything. He says appoint an officer. Everything mm. that she should have made while she was away. Hallelujah. Oh God. Hallelujah. I don't know what you have lost. What you could have made while you were away from the situation that you are mm. in now. But mm. I want to pray for you today. That may God restore you to your original speed of Hallelujah. progress. You shall overtake. Amen. Mm. May you be an overtaker. Hallelujah. Divine accent. Overtake those who have gone before you. Mm. Wherever the enemy has made you sluggish, wherever the enemy has limited you, or wherever you have been slowed down mm. in your life, there's some areas of in your life that you feel like you have slowed down. Mm. 
some areas in your life that you feel like, oh, I think I can't move further than this, or I can't go further on because of certain conditions that have happened, because you moved away from your land, because you moved away from your position, because you have moved away, because circumstances have caused you to move away. I want to pray for you today that may God appoint an officer, hallelujah, mm. to restore to you your original speed in the mighty name of mm. Jesus Christ. We're going to read one more, then some of them I'll just talk them through. So when you have time, we've already read in the book of Job chapter 42, the book of Job 42, 10, it says, God the book of Job 42, those who are writing from 10 to 15 in verse 12, the Bible said God restored everything that he had lost. Amen. Mm. Actually, before that, God says that he blessed Job and he caused everyone around him. He restored his relationships. Then those relationships began to give Job back his, began to give Job their gold and mm. their money. Hallelujah. And he restored everything back to Job that he had lost. The Bible said he restored it a hundredfold. Even his family says, even his God. children, Hallelujah. the ones that he bought at that time were more fairer and they were beautiful than the other ladies. Mm. So I want to say to you today that when God restores you to your original state like he does with Job, he blesses you. Amen. Hallelujah. He blesses you double double blessing. Mm. He restores you a hundredfold. And apart from that, listen, Father, your, 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 your end is greater than your beginning. Hallelujah. I don't know what your story is, but your end shall be greater than your beginning Hallelujah. when God brings restoration into your life. Mm. Hallelujah. Father, and then for those others who are who are, the letter on you can also read uh, in uh, Psalms 51 Hallelujah. verse 10 to 12 where, when David was we see here that when God restores you to original state David cries out to God he says restore mm. create in me a clean heart oh God Hallelujah. renew a right spirit within me cast me mm. not away from your presence oh Lord but restore unto me the joy of salvation. Mm. Sometimes you can lose your joy of salvation. It is very easy to stumble. It is very easy to fall. Because most of the times we get carried away by sin. Sometimes sin takes dominion over our lives. And it causes us to be carried away from the presence Hallelujah. of God. Whereby we sin. Certain situations cause us to come to find us in a position where we sin or fall short of the glory of God. Mm. But I want to say to somebody today, if you Hallelujah. are in a fallen state, just look back to the height that you are fallen from. Because mm. God is a God of love. God is a God of restoration. Hallelujah. He is able to bring you back to that state. Amen. Mm. He is able to bring you back. He is able to restore you of your joy, the joy of your salvation. Wherever you have gone away in sin, God mm. is able to do what? Father, God is pray. able to restore you. Hallelujah. Then Hallelujah. later on, those of you can read in, in Psalm 126, it talks about that when God returned them back, amen, Hallelujah. from the place of captivity, mm -hmm. they were like those in a dream, amen. Mm -hmm. They said they, they, their tongues, they stuck to their roof. And they were so shocked and they were so surprised, amen. Mm. And people were wondering to say, look what God has done. Listen, Hallelujah. God can restore you to a place where people look at you. Your original state and begin to wonder that what has God done to these people, amen. Hallelujah. What has Hallelujah. God done to him when mm. God sets you free from your place of captivity? So I'm just going to quickly go through one or two things. How? How can you receive restoration? Listen, declare it. Begin to declare mm. restoration mm. over your life. Begin to Hallelujah. declare. There's so many verses in the Bible that talk about restoration. Begin to declare restoration. In the thing I want Jesus. to say is that God has the power to call things back into your life. Mm. Even as Job says that I know that you can do anything and no purpose of yours can be without help. So God has the power mm. not only to call you back but God has the power to move you. Amen. Hallelujah. God has the power to move you in certain places. Amen. He mm. can move 
move you in certain places and that is the power that God has hallelujah mm. we're just going to read uh, last I'm going to talk about why do you need restoration I've been said today that you that God has to restore you God restores you to your original state he restores you to your original place he restores you to your original value your original function and also to your original speed of progress but you might be saying to me that why do I need why do I need amen Hallelujah. why do I need to be restored like I was saying how you can be destroyed declare it God is able to call things back into your life mm. God is able to move you in situations God is able to bring back things that have been stolen from you into your life and that is what we call we call restitution he's able to everything that has been stolen in your life God is able to bring it hallelujah, back hallelujah. hallelujah so now we are going to look at why do we need restoration you might ask me why why do we need restoration hallelujah mm. so I'll quickly go through those amen hallelujah. why do we need restoration John chapter 10 verse 10 mm. John chapter 10 verse 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just quickly go to John chapter 10 verse 10. I know we are very familiar with this scripture of John chapter 10 verse 10. The Bible says, the thief, the thief does not come expect to steal, to kill, and to, to destroy. So the thief doesn't come apart from three reasons, to kill to steal and to destroy. Oh, but Jesus God. says that me, I've come he to give come you to life. Give life. And has come to give you life in abundance. Life Listen, in this abundance. is the life that we have. Life mm. is only in Christ. Hallelujah. There is no other life outside Jesus Christ. Mm. And that's one thing that you need to remember. Hallelujah. That's why we need restoration. Some mm. people have lost their state of mind. Some people have lost that like we have reading these examples in the Bible. Mm. Certain things led them to be displaced. Why? Hallelujah. Because of the because of of things that were happening around them. But we thank God for life. He says mm. the enemy comes but to steal. He says but. So the enemy doesn't just come anyhow. The enemy doesn't come to, 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 I don't know what term I want to, I want to use. Mm. I, where I come from the term, we said, Ukuisha. Like to, how can I put it? He doesn't come to have fellowship with you. He doesn't come to make you laugh or make you happy. No, 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 no. Mm. He comes but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And it doesn't destroy. come for anything pleasant. So why mm. do you need restoration? Hallelujah. And let me say one thing. You need restoration because, because he's talking about these things. It means the enemy comes to attack you. Mm. And let me tell you, when the enemy attacks you, the enemy doesn't attack what you have. He's mm. not attacking your money. He's not attacking your marriage. No, 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 no. Mm. He's not attacking the things that you have achieved. The enemy is not attacking your, your success. But the enemy attacks you. Your existence mm. hallelujah the hallelujah. reason of your existence that is what the enemy is attacking that's mm. why you need restoration so when hallelujah. your marriage is under attack when your relationships are under your attack when you are when you are when you are mm. when you are in under attack in your workplace when you're under attack under your reality listen, they're not attacking you mm. because of the things that you have some of us some of you you are breadwinners mm. some of you you are owners I mean, some of you you are entrepreneurs Listen, it's not your money that they are attacking. It's your reason for existence that you are Hallelujah. attacking. That's why the enemy comes and attacks you. And second, it doesn't not uh, attack your reason of existence. Listen, your reason of existence encompasses everyone around you. That's why I always say that you want what God has given you or why you are here is a reason for somebody. God Hallelujah. has blessed you to be a blessing to somebody. So God is attacking. If you fall, there's some of you, if you fall, everybody else will fall. That's why you see that sometimes if, some, if, if, if God forbid, if there's a death in the family, then the breadwinner dies, everyone becomes displaced. The children are displaced. The, 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 the wife is displaced. Everyone goes, why? Because he attacks the existence of those who encompass around you. Hallelujah. Mm. That is the strategy of the enemy. And that's why I, I, I say to everybody that your existence is there for a reason. Hallelujah. So do not give up. Listen, do not look around your 
turned back. Mm. That situation that you are going through, you might use it to, to testify or to encourage somebody. Why? Yeah, because the there are people around you who need you. There are people who you, you can reach to who I cannot reach you. Mm. There are people who, who I can reach who you cannot reach. I posted something on my wall yesterday. That, that your purpose in life to see some that to somebody else you you are somebody else's miracle you're somebody Hallelujah. else's breakthrough you mm. are somebody else's answer to prayer Hallelujah. I remember a few weeks ago we, we, we somebody was selling some some chickens I think in Zambia so we bought one I thought to someone said oh can you send it to her and then we paid then she sent back a message my daughter and then she said you know what mom you don't know what we had what what you have done we were sitting at home just looking at ourselves thinking what are we going to eat what is our meal today then all of a sudden we received a phone call that can you meet me at this place and then I saw some relish appear to me why 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 he's attacking your existence because you're existence accompanies everybody listen when he drags you down he'll drag everybody down irrespective of who you are or what you put in 